Welcome back. I'm playing Total War Troy, and we just got the uh, Ajax and Diomedes uh, DLC here. So I'm going in blind. We'll see what it's all about. Uh, Ajax is the greater. Ajax the greater is a bulwark of the Achaeans, as steadfast as Achilles is mercurial, but no less eager for renown. He fought the entire Trojan War without even, without ever being wounded, though it was he and his men that usually covered the Achaean retreats and thus took the brunt of the enemy's assault. Diomedes favored Athena. Favorite of Athena is the youngest, but also most experienced and versatile Achaean military commander. His is the singular honor of being the only mortal to have wounded Ares himself. New faction mechanics. Challenge. Mighty warriors and friendly battles to unlock new champion units and achieve great Renown as Ajax, train your units with the teachings of the Epigoni and complete objectives to dominate weaker factions as Diomedes. New epic missions experience Ajax is raised to become the great and Diomedes returned to Thebes on his quest to surpass his father. Stealing the Palladium. New special event that allows any Achaean hero to hinder Troy's defenses by capturing the statue of Athena. New units and buildings, Ajax and Diomedes warriors host the giants of Salamis and the Argive masters of technical maneuvers. Stomp your enemies into the mud and come upon them where they least expected each faction. Also boosts a special building chain dedicated to honing bodies and minds of respectively the Salamites or the and the Argives. Exclusive to Ajax and Diomedes, they are a new Paragon units, special improved versions of regular units led by the mighty Paragon. So it looks like we got some generic shield guys. What do they got? And they got charge defense. So if you have them just standing there, hopefully it'll negate the charge bonuses. And it looks like they can hide. We've got some swordsmen. Looks like they can just throw stuff, kind of like the other spearmen. They got a big charge boost that they can do that allows them to suffer extra damage. You just got your generic heavy spearmen. Generic heavy swordsmen. Ajax's companions. These must be his, like, renowned units. So they also have the reckless charge. They can heal. They have spears that they can throw. They've expert... So they also can negate charge bonuses. And these guys can attack walls. Okay. Um, let's see, Ajax's wall. So these are going to be like, a, as you'd expect, massive defenses here. So that's pretty good. And then just some generic slingers, slingers, archers, basic swordsmen. These guys can vanguard. They must have some spears, javelins that they can throw. And they've got a bonus to be able to fight more or do more damage. These are just X-Men. Looks like they're the same. Improved flanking defense. Strong vigor. So these guys can move a little bit more without suffering as much and have that bonus. Night Runners. So these ones are have the stock ability. This can actually be a little bit annoying with the AI unless they fixed it because the AI doesn't know where invisible units are. Or they do, but they pretend like they don't. And so it causes the AI to move all over the place if they can't see it. And it looks like you just got some basic chargers that also have this ferocity ability. Improve flanking. I don't know why you would have these guys in a spot where they could be flanked since they're chargers. Swordsmen or X-Men that also have renown. Swordmasters. And just generic slingers again. Alright, so over here on the Danians. I don't think there anybody else was there, right? Yeah, everybody else is the same. So we've got Ajax and we've got Diomedes. Maybe I'll do Diomedes first. Somebody asked me to do that since they thought everybody else was going to do Ajax. So I guess I can do that. So Diomedes, King of Argos. An accomplished battle commander despite his young age, Diomedes is Athena's favorite and sharpest military mind to enter the fray against Troy. His starting position is probably going to suck because they're going to be dropping guys right on the beach. I really hated that with the, uh, was it Menelaus or? No, it was 
Agamemnon, that's who it was. Diomedes of the loud war cry. Because they'll be throwing guys up here and there's not a good place to hide. So Argos is finest, as one of Epigone Diomedes can call his companion call his companions veterans known as the Strategos to train troops for him. Any Strategos aligned with Argos can train Paragon units, granting them additional edge in battle. Once training is complete, the Paragon unit can be recruited and a new one trained. Master Strategist Diomedes legendary strategic mind allows him to dominate other factions in battle, then bullying them into doing his bidding. Competing special military objectives against enemy grants Argos a unique resource known as Dominance. By spending Dominus, Diomedes can intimidate less powerful rulers into entering clearly unfavorable diplomatic agreements. That could be good. Armies. Diomedes Rester is specialized in crushing attack with well-rounded axe and sword infantry combined with quick, quick flanking units from surprising locations. So we can't get the bowmen. That's fine. I actually don't like the bowmen uh, heroes because they tend not... If you, unless you're microing them really well, um, they tend to not attack regularly. So I'm actually fine. I hate the bowmen heroes. And I don't think it's a secret that the Warlord Mentor is by far my favorite uh, hero to use. So yeah, the Knight Runners, X-Men, Sword Masters, Renowned X-Men. Okay. The legendary hero Diomedes was renowned as one of the deadliest and most cunning military commanders to enter the fray against Troy. A seasoned veteran despite his young age, he has already participated in more battles than his peers at the onset of the Trojan War. A paragon of heroic virtues, he was the goddess Athena's favorite and possessed such skill in battle that he was said to have wounded Ares himself. Diomedes slipped inside the walls of Troy with Odysseus to steal the Palladium, and was one of a handful of sold, uh, warriors who hid inside the Trojan horse to bring about the impregnable city's downfall. Athena granted him immortality after his death. Well, that seems a little bit late to get immortality after you die. So, son of uh, Thides, 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 and, uh, oof, he feel? I have no idea. Uh, so you get uh, one Athena per turn, extra point, and plus six charge. So he's going to be a charge guy. We're going to play on Legendary, which is the hardest difficulty in the battle. Hardest difficulty is Veteran. Uh, let's take a look at our conditions here. So for the Total War, defeat your first antagonist. Uh, control the three following settlements, Troy, Mesia, and Gnosis. And occupies our race. So that's pretty standard. Homework, we have 13 epic missions. Make sure the following factions are destroyed. So we got to take out Hector, Troy, and Paris. Have at least 600 favor with Athena. And maintain seven Paragon units in your army. All right, so that's all pretty standard stuff here. Let's see what we can do. Are we mere playthings of the gods? Or do we plead divine influence to justify our foolish choices? He's taken her! He's taken my wife! You've risked the safety of Troy. Troy is my home now. You have my oath, brother. She will be returned to you. Brother, I can fight! Go. Seek shelter. There'll be plenty of fighting ahead. Helen's flight was a grave wound to Achaean pride. King Menelaus will have his revenge. And his brother will have his war with Troy, just as the gods intended. O oh, Diomedes, chosen of Zeus, will you rise to the challenge of the coming war? 
Brother, your foolish passion has doomed us. Ancient Argos has already reached new heights under your rule, and your capital is second only to Mycenae itself in wealth and prestige. Warriors of Argos, our time has come. The Corinthians, eternal enemies of the Argives, have boldly taken Erchomenus. Now they dare to advance on Argos itself. Defeat them to remove this threat to Achaea and bring stability to your lands. The shadow of your father, King Tydeus, still hangs over you. His ill-fated mission to conquer Thebes ended in disaster and death. You have already taken revenge upon the city in his name. But now, rumors abound that an ill wind blows around Thebes. With wisdom and courage beyond your years, it is time for you to surpass even your father's achievements. Okay. So Argos is finest, Amity's knows that wars are won foremost through preparation. For this purpose, he can call upon the Epigoni, sons of the legendary seven, against Thebes, also known as the Strategos. These battle-hardened teachers can train, select soldiers, and two skilled paragons, which Diomedes can then recruit into his army. Master strategist Diomedes does not conceive of conquest as mere sum of victories. To him, triumph demands that he break the enemy utterly. By completing tactical objectives against his rival factions, Diomedes can demonstrate his utter dominance and then can leverage his reputation to intimidate weaker rivals into entering unfavorable diplomatic agreements. Paragon warriors. Ajax and Diomedes can bolster their respective armies with paragons, mightier versions of regular soldiers who march into battle under the leadership of a seasoned commander. Ajax can rally paragons by defeating them in mock combat, while Diomedes must rely on strategies to train them for him. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So we got this. So we gotta take this so we can capture this whole area. That's gonna be my first objective. The proper training can elevate your warriors and grant them new tactical abilities. Seek out the wisdom of a strategos. Once you take a settlement that is home to such a teacher, their expertise will be at your disposal. Okay, so you can train a new Paragon units that will become available through special recruitment after a short period. Select any non-mythic unit available to your regular roster and then select the strategos with the build bonuses. Oh, okay, that's kind of an interesting thing. Uh, let's see, as a master, master tactician, Diomedes knows the value of elite training. He can call upon his heroic companions, the Epigoni, also known as the Strategos, to train Paragons for his armies. Select regular units to be trained, then a trainer. Once training is complete, you can recruit the Paragon unit to your army and begin instructing a new one. So, Polydoros. Gain the battlefield healing attribute. That's amazing, because that, if they just stand around, they start to heal. That's cool. Um, plus 30% morale, plus 50% damage. Wow, that's actually pretty good. What's this other one here? Oh, it takes five turns, though. Uh, okay, so it's going to take a while to get these. Uh, Polyhandros, the mighty warrior, Pelly Doros, is said to have inherited the battle prowess and great mental discipline of his father, the hero Hippomedion. The fearless warrior is known or his battle cry, cry victory or death. The Anilos, I have no idea. Uh, son of the great hero Capanesis is intimately familiar with the military strategy and tactics, having studied under various great commanders as the art as an Argiv prince. Like his father, he is a mighty stature and possesses immense strength. He is also accomplished charioter 
charioteer uh, known for his swift and deadly charge so if you're into charge get this guy get your battle speed up this one's probably easiest for your front lines melee attack causes fear Ooh, that's gonna be good what else we got here Aragon units community psychology yeah that's okay plus 100 weapon damage that's pretty cool uh, thirty percent armor. That'll be great for your front line. Improve flanking defense. Ooh, that's, I'm gonna. All these seem pretty good actually. Uh, if you're into charging and stalking, that would be okay. I'm not, probably not gonna use much of that unless it makes me flanking defense improved. Yeah. All right. So this is gonna be definitely an interesting. I wonder if this costs anything to do this. Okay. So it costs a ton. To do that all right so i can't do that yet that makes sense that i shouldn't be able to do that right on the first start and crush your enemy's will to fight each strategic success brings greater dominance which in turn gives you the advantage when facing weaker factions across the negotiating table all right you can complete military objectives against any faction with whom you're at war the reward for these objection objectives is dominance bend dominance and diplomacy to bully weaker factions into deals that are skewed in your favor okay balance of power at war so we can go here so pretty much defeat their faction leader capture their settlement raise or sack kill a hero all right I would just assume take over places instead of having to. What is, let's see here, complete objectives at 100 to 200. Complete objectives, maximum dominance. I guess it doesn't tell me what the bonus is. All right. Because I assume we're going to get a, one of these bars for each, but I'm not sure. Okay. Kind of interesting. Uh, that's okay, I guess. What do we got for units here? So we get some basic guys just with our main location. Diomedes plus two melee attack of Axemen. Sword Masters, decrease that. Plus three casualty replacement, minus 15 up costs of all units, minus happiness. That sucks. Uh, strategic Camp, plus 50 of th favor to Athena. Get experience, grants student of war, grants student. Does it tell me what that is? I don't, I'm not familiar with what that does. Um, I don't know what that bonus does. I don't see how to how to tell. Anyway, so we got the spearmen, night runners. Not super in love with those guys. Club warriors. I'm not. I hate those. So we can do the swordsmen, which only have 65. So probably gonna just go with the armored spearmen. We've got slingers. Raiders, Renowned Axemen. Alright, so I don't really care about those. I'm not a huge Chariot guy. We only have the most basic Bowmen. That's kind of disappointing. Alright, so it looks like this is going to be a Slinger army for us. So that's what I'm going to get. Uh, and then it looks like we just have the standard buildings over here, right? Yeah, pretty much. Alright. Actually, what was that? That looks like a new building. A Festus. He was the armorer, if I remember correctly. Yeah, units of this province that are equipped receive plus 5 armor and 5 melee attack. 10. Hmm, that's good. So if you put that in your recruiting capital, that will uh, really help boost up your guys. You could really probably stack up. That's only with melee, right? Yeah. If you're doing archers, that would be good. It's been a while since I played, so I'm just refreshing my memory what each one of these things does. Okay. Got it. 
All right, it looks like I just have two locations here. Royal Decrees looks pretty standard. So let's get the growth going. Happiness is always important early on too, but we'll focus on growth first, I guess. So that way we can get the objective done. I'm going to try to explain a little bit more than what I typically do, because uh, several people were asking me for assistance because they were having trouble playing the game. Uh, so I'm never really in love with this because the influence is good early on because you can get some bonuses as your influence goes up. So bigger things, that's for bronze, that's fine. Really need to get some more food going. And then we've got minus 10 happiness, so ideally I'd like to do that as well. This place is generating some food for us, which is good. So we'll get that going so we can get those resources up. And... I think you can recruit slingers, can you not? Yes. So I like to get a bunch of range units to start with. Now I always struggle, do I run and kill uh, one of these units right away or not? Because if you do, and you can take it all out completely, it's great. Otherwise they run inside the garrison and you got two heroes to fight. And that's always a disaster early on. So I think with our first turn we'll uh, get three slingers. Because I think early on range is a lot better than melee. And then we'll see if we can start harvesting some resources here. So can't go to peace. Obviously, we're not confederating. I do not recommend doing military alliances early on because you're going to get thrown into a bunch of wars. Even the defensive alliances can be very frustrating. Um, so doing like non-aggression packs are fine, especially with somebody like this because you see he's got a bunch of non-aggression packs uh, with these other places. So probably not going to go and kill this guy. Uh, Sparta, obviously, uh, he... Now if you want to try to min-max things, you can look and see who's improving, and then you can get more resources as time goes by, but that's also kind of plays with uh, putting yourself at risk. So let's see if I can't uh, get the maximum amount of resources here. Wood is usually the biggest restriction for us. Let's get that going. I am happy to negotiate. Yeah, he barely's got any resources. So we'll try to. How am I doing on stone? Actually, I'm pretty low on stone. So let's get some stone going. Give me any wood or any food. Again, if you wanted to wait, you could probably get even more resources for those guys. And then this guy is at war already and has a defensive alliance. I'm sure. So let's try to get this going. 201. Alright, anybody else want to do anything with us? No. Fine, not a problem. The other thing you can do early on if you really want to milk it is you can get free gifts, but I don't like doing that because it just seems like a weird mechanic to me. Um... So I'm not super excited about this. I tend not to get these happiness ones because early on in the game your happiness is definitely at risk. Long term these are excellent and then if you no longer care about growth I usually get one of those as well. But early on that will stifle your economy. So I guess we'll keep that there. And uh, we do have food coming in so... I guess maybe we should do that. Actually, no. Let's try to get the happiness up. I think that would be a much better decision. You're recruiting. And that's turn one for us.
All right, he just force marched over there. I don't know if I have a bridge there or if I can just go and kill him right away. I serve with honor. Uh, even though it says it's in my favor, I'm I don't know, should I risk it? No. Because early on, having to get your reinforcements going is very important. So, because you don't want to have to waste a bunch of time. Obviously, it's raining. That's not great for us. We'd like to have good weather, which that is. Uh, it's a pretty balanced force. It's in our favor. We want to have an open area so we don't uh, get our units uh, range uh, being blocked. So, we'll have. Him. This will be our front line. These will be chargers at three, because that's how you use these guys, and four for our range. Uh, we want to keep them in the trees as much as possible, because the enemy hero is range. So let's see how far we can get you guys in. Do something like this. Get you guys over, you over. And now we'll start advancing actually I don't really like having them in this so let's get the oop didn't have my slingers come up gotta get those guys going trying to turn you guys And slingers come up this way. You guys can hide in the trees. Alright, so they're not going to be able to attack yet. So let's just move you guys up. And three can kind of come around this way with the hope that we'll be able to flank them. He's got a little advantage on us because he's on the hill. guys can start coming over this way. Then the archers don't have any range bonus, so there's no reason to really worry about that. You guys can keep coming here. You can come here. You can go fight the hero to try to get him taken care of. The archers are now running, and early on the heroes aren't very good against range. We'll start running those guys around to get a flank. These guys are broken, but I'd like to kill them, ideally. You guys can come back here, envelope those guys to get bonus damage. This is just a bonus for your attack. These guys are breaking already. These guys are about to break. So he'll be able to kill them. You guys just go and take those guys out. I don't know why. Why he's not also attacking. He's about to break. You need to get over there and start fighting him because we want to kill him. And you have to be careful because there is friendly fire with your ranged units, so... Once they start getting closer, we're going to want to stop that attack. And in fact, have them attack these guys instead. Not super happy that uh, my spearmen are kind of stuck there. Get out of there so you don't block this attack. 
He killed this guy completely. We'll run you over there. You guys killed those guys completely. Let's have you try to help. X-Men, get over here. Try to take those guys out. You guys can attack these guys. Yeah, they're going to be completely taken out. Yeah, alright, you guys need to swarm on this guy. Try to take him out. Alright, and you guys can stop so you don't kill your own guy. Yep, there you go. So we've taken out everybody except the hero now. He's got 150 health. Oh, he's going to be close. We got him. So, there we go. We wiped out his entire force. And we barely suffered any losses. And we want the food because we're recruiting right now. We can just go and garrison him in the building so it's not as important that we get the uh, units replenished. So we want to get an army, so let's uh, get that going. And now we got some bonus of resources because we completed our objective. We leveled up. So I do like this. These are also good when you have them just tanking, um, but I find that the seize the moment actually works pretty well because when he's, I like to throw my um, heroes and make them kind of uh, duelist, I guess would be the term for it in this game culture, to go after the other enemy heroes. So we're going to go with that. What else do we got? Drill experts. Those are good. Ambassador of Hermes. I don't think I've seen this one before. Um, fatigue reduction. Fatigue reduction. You know, it's always flash. That's not as important to me. So that would be kind of cool to get some bonus because this will rank them up. So probably end up getting that. What is this? Guidance of Ares, plus 50 dominance from kill a hero and raid resources, charge bonus, melee, it. okay, so you do, this is how you start getting, using your dominance points is it boosts your guys up, okay, I see, defeat, two recruits for recruitment rank, one recruitment slot so if people are asking me how do I get additional units unlocked it's by getting abilities that increase the uh, recruitment slots so if you want to hire more than a couple three units a turn then you get something like that uh, warriors of Argos I'll go through this a little bit later as we're going through the game and I learn more about the mechanics um, but pretty standard build up so far uh, could run him and force March to get back to here However, then I'm not going to be able to recruit units, and I do want to do that. So let's keep this going. So I do need a little bit more of a front line, and we'll get another slinger. Oh, and I want to see, could you move at all any further? Okay, that's about as much, because we want to go after this right away. So two spearmen and a slinger. I'm uh, not going to upgrade this because, again, I actually want the influence. So we'll keep stocking up on some resources for a turn. Uh, I'm not going to be able to... Uh... Ideally, I'd kill this guy, but I think I want Menelaus to have him. Hopefully, he's not going to attack me. That's certainly a possibility. These guys are starting to think about wanting to work with me. Everybody else is kind of the status quo. We're trying to get this up so we can start getting some buildings going. So we'll continue. I usually don't get this building right away, um, but we got it, so we'll use it. I'm going to go with the food, because we need to keep recruiting guys. 
We now have an army where we should be able to take out a level one place fairly easily, so we'll move up. If you'll do what I tell you to do. There we go. So Bowman, ooh, Renowned Slinger. So this is more than just a level one place. I think we can still do it though. Unfortunately, he's not an archer hero. All right, nice start. Yeah, this is a level one place. It doesn't have any garrison areas. Actually, these sometimes are a little bit harder than the typical ones, as the enemy will sometimes charge right into you. So let's do that. Make you control two, because that's how I typically do it. Three and four. What I'm going to do is try to use things to my benefit. So I'm going to try to run up here. So there's mud that the enemy units will get stuck in. We try to set up some choke points. So that's what my hope is. So we'll move these guys out. And I can't tell if the AI is coming at me or not yet. So I'm guessing they're not coming after me, it looks like. Yeah, they're not coming. That's unfortunate, because if I would have known he's not moving, I would have come through here so I could stay in the trees. So I may still do that. just have to reposition a little bit more than I typically would. Yeah, they're not coming. So let's hide you guys in the trees. Get our slingers across. Because again, we're going to be fighting some ranged units. They've got the renowned slingers are worth like four regular slingers. So that's not great. So we're going to have you guys come over here. Move everybody else up. Try to get you turned so you guys can face the enemy. Move you guys up. Move you up a little bit more. You guys stay over here. Okay, so we gotta get you guys moving up here. The foe has sighted your hidden units. We'll let the lines crash into each other. It would actually probably be better for you guys to attack the bowmen. You come up here, you here, 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 you come over there. Three, move up. You come over here. Oh shoot, I forgot to turn off uh, skirmish mode. Because the AI, your units will start running even if they're not going to get attacked, which is really annoying. You guys come over after this guy, you come after the bowmen. You guys come over here. You need to pull back. Alright, you guys come after that guy. You guys need to pull out of here because you're getting attacked. Alright, you guys have now broken those guys, so attack the light spearmen. I don't want you in melee, so you need to get out. Some mistakes are definitely being ma made on my micro here. Not very good. You guys aren't able to see what you're attacking, which isn't great. And again, you don't have to... Yeah, I know, you're losing heart because I'm doing this like an idiot. You focus on taking him out. All right, you're breaking this guy. Again, we don't have to really kill him. We just want to try to break him. 
because once they all falter, that's really all that matters. You killed everybody, perfect. You've broken those guys. They're running. You killed the hero, perfect. These guys are still there. Actually, my poor uh, Axemen are getting killed pretty badly. All right, victory. So definitely a lot more losses than what I should have suffered, but not the end of the world. And we'll be able to... I usually don't loot and occupy just because the happiness issues are uh, such a major issue uh, starting up. So I just will occupy. We got a nice little necklace and some passive health abilities. He's now regenerating. We've got this place taken over. This is a lumber camp, so I definitely want the lumber more than getting the experience bonus. We're still doing good on our resources. King of I do feel like we still need a little bit more front line units, so we're going to get two more and then one of these guys just so we can get our solid front line going. We now have the ability to use a uh, a commandment. I almost always use organized games just because again the happiness penalty is so high on legendary. It helps you late game. You can twist it to other things but I also like to just hit the easy button and so by the time you start getting a high um, Aphrodite ranking and everything it's best just to kind of let it stay the course. Um, I'm not super excited to take these places because I'm definitely not going to get Macini and uh, that's going to make me have an incomplete location, but I do want to keep getting the resources, so I'll probably end up coming up here. Uh, hopefully he'll take this place out shortly. Because I don't really like there being this spot to my rear that's being left open. Uh, we're going to wait a turn, let them uh, keep getting their resources up a little bit so we can barter from a stronger position because we don't really need a lot of resources right now. We're actually doing fairly well. Our happiness is under relative control. In gaining this new settlement, you have also gained the services of a strategos. This tactician and teacher can train your warriors in the more subtle arts. Ah, so that's what that means. Your armies are unique tactical advantage well that sucks if I would have known that I wouldn't have made peace with them yeah because I did make peace with purple didn't I yeah I did so that would cause major diplomatic issues all right well we're gonna keep creeping up this way then that's too bad And this is the only other thing I'd like to get going pretty quickly. But we're going to get more wood resources up here. And with your trade agreements, you get the resources that same turn, so there's no reason that I have to do it necessarily this moment. Issue a royal decree. Got the faction, upgrade any building. All right, so I really, I don't really have any gold, so there's no reason to keep going down here. So I need to get this happiness, so I'm gonna go with the stone. I don't have any stone anyways, so I think that's probably a good way to be. You can come up here and take that. So we'll get moving on that here momentarily. Get that. Son of Tydeus. Cut them down. Get in there. Yeah. Alright, so he's got better units all around than I do. 
but we can still easily win this. So what I'm going to use is my three to try to run around his ranged units, because I think that would be a better use. Oh, okay, so this one actually is a fortified settlement, so we're not going to do the same kind of strategy we did last time, so we'll turn this into control one for a front line. I think this is a good um, format in terms of your length, because you can extend your line pretty good. Uh, only the range or the melee units that are in touching get to do damage, so you, the more you spread it out this way, the more they will fight, and also... Uh, the main drawback on this, though, is if a chariot, the thinner it is, the easier it is to break through. So that's something you need to be cognizant of. Alright, so let's just move you guys forward a little bit. Oops. Made you guys control. Alright, so let's just run you up here and attack the spearman. Try to whittle away his forces. Hopefully he's not going to try something funny and get a flank on me. He certainly could just charge me, though. The AI does like to do that a lot these days. Oh, shit. The uh, Renowned Slingers are going to be shooting me. Alright, you guys come over here then. Because again, renowned slingers in the trees against regular slingers, that's not an engagement we want to get involved in. This is kind of an interesting... I can't say I've seen them do this very much. Alright, you guys get up here. They're charging you. So we'll try to set up some choke points then. That's not a good trade. You don't want to really be wasting your attacks on heroes like this. Your warriors have spotted hidden foes. Yeah, that's who I wanted to see. Alright, so we should be able to pretty easily take out these clubmen then. Boy, they really increased the uh, line of sight that's necessary to see those guys. They're running now, so they'll just be absolutely decimated. Good, the light spearmen are staying there, so you guys can come here. Not super excited to get shot up by the renowned slingers, but they're attacking my spearmen, so that's not as big of a deal. Make sure it's a full frontal so they can get full advantage of the shield benefit bonus against range. Try to pick off as many of these guys as we can while they're retreating. 
Perfect. Have you guys come this way. These guys are not shielded, so you'll do a lot more damage there. Have you guys move up a little bit. Actually, I'd rather you take out the bowman, to be 100% uh, honest. Kind of try to layer you guys here. Letting them get a lot of attacks in on me. He's almost out of ammo, though. Maybe I'll pull you back a little bit. Hopefully he'll just attack this guy. He's blocked, so you're not even attacking. That's pretty frustrating. Ah, see, this is what I did not want to happen. Is now I actually have an engagement happening. This is not in my favor. Okay, the slingers are out of ammo, so that actually now is in my favor. Or get up here. You guys come up here. You broke them. That's perfect. You guys start coming up this way. You guys take out those guys. Victory is close enough to taste. Alright, those guys are broken. This is not an engagement we want those guys to be in. He will lose that. If you want to help take that guy out, that's fine. These guys shooting into here will hit a bunch of different type of units, which is good. And we'll help break these guys up pretty easily and help our spearmen. These guys are going in for a flank. These guys are getting stuck, which is not great. But now we've got flanking going on. We'll win this battle. These guys are will be running. This whole flank is just about broken. These guys are tired, but that's okay. Those areas are broken. So those guys can just run them down. Those guys have all broke. These guys are breaking. Everything's breaking. So we have now won this. Again, a lot of unnecessary losses, but as you can see, looking at the end, it's not the end of the world, and just spending a turn in a garrison location will let us heal that up pretty easily. Hard work is rewarded. And again, don't really care about that building want more of the wood resources. Problem is, is with the happiness at this location, I am unlikely to be able to hold this without having the province secured. And I am very unlikely to be able to take that out. I think it's best to get the weapon defense because early on he's not very good so that will debuff the enemy warrior let's oh I can't get more uh... well we'll get those guys then I'd rather have some slingers but we'll make do with what we got
Now this actually backfired because I'm starting to take places that he wants. I know that wars can also be won off the battlefield. Boy, you're being a cheapskate. Alright, good. You've got right. quite a Let's bit of wood. How much you willing to give me? Because I got stuff I want to buy. I don't think that's going to be enough to build any of those other buildings, though. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm still short. So we got to upgrade and construct a new building, and we'll get those things. I think the it's two turns at least until I get that stuff. We'll come up here and take that next turn. And then, where do I want to go from there, is the question. Now, I probably don't want to go after these guys, so I guess I'll go north. Try to take out these guys. That seems reasonable. And if I end up building up a strong location on this way, this side... Hopefully that will allow me to not have to worry about getting taken out once Troy starts coming across at us. We'll hold off on trade things until trade agreements until we get the objective to do that. Your people are natural seafarers, and ports are the pillars on which your society is founded. Build up your coastal cities, and they will outshine all others in the civilized world. Okay. The dominant strategy have at least a hundred dominance. <laughs> Sorry about that, I had to sneeze. If you are to emerge truly victorious from this military campaign, you must devise strategies to utterly crush your rivals and cripple their very will to fight, dominating your opponents. And this manner will ensure that they are more receptive to diplomatic pressures as they are in awe of your battlefield supremacy. It compels them to accept otherwise unfair deals. Actually, I should probably... Maximum strength. So how am I doing on that, I wonder? just 50 yeah okay because I can't do this I don't know where their hero is I hope he's not rooming in this location because if he is that's going to be less than great for us he is damn Pretty sure I can still take it. Son of Tydeus. Oh, I don't know. I don't have that much range. Can't see what he's got for an army. It's going to be two heroes. Well, let's try it. Oof. Bowman. Those are regular slingers. I think uh, uh, they're both melee. Of course they are. If one was an archer, that would make it much easier. So kind of our standard campaign map here. Again, kind of the same strategy. Nice front wall. Hero. 
chargers to try to flank and also go after enemy range and our slingers. I'd like to get these guys up on the hill. So they don't suffer the line of sight penalties. Let's take out the swordsmen first. Move you guys up a little bit. Your hero is under attack. He is. Who's attacking you? come over here in case they decide that they want to move up on you. You guys move up because you're blocking a little bit of the slingers. Much rather you take out these guys instead because they don't they're not shielded. That'll be an easy kill. I should have committed here because I allowed him to get his morale back up, because it's you, when you break their morale is when you do actually most of your damage because they turn around because you only get the shield protective bonus when you're facing the units head on that are attacking you. Because unfortunately, as you can see, I'm almost halfway through all my ammo and I've only taken out two units so far. So this is the problem with slingers is they really struggle against shielded units, even early on. Alternatively, what you could do is use your infantry to kind of bait the AI into turning their flank on you. Then you could just kill them right away with rear attacks by negating all that shield bonus, but find that to be actually kind of hard to do successfully early on. Just because your units aren't very good, they're not very durable. One of your units has no more ammunition. All right, you completely killed those guys. You guys are out of ammo, so let's get you out of there. I think the spearmen are also shielded, are they not? No, they're not. Go ahead and take them out then. The light spearmen certainly are. We'll keep these guys in reserve in case we have to chase around any archers.
Oh yeah, they're shielded. What was I thinking? It's like, really? It's, spearmen aren't shielded? Alright, so pretty much everybody is now out of ammo. So let's get those guys over this way. Now let's send you over this way. Try to split up our forces a little bit. We can send some of you guys over here. Because what I want is to try to turn them into flanking forces. Okay, so you guys come over here. You come here. You can attack this guy. You can attack him. You guys move up here and attack those guys. You come over here to try to protect the flank. You can start moving up. You guys come over this way. You come over here. You guys come here. Oh, smart. So they block these guys, but they're now making the classic AI mistake of getting overextended because everything is starting to swarm in on them and they're not sure where to prioritize. you guys come over here so you've now broken those guys so get over here Diomedes use your bonus you guys come here those guys are getting pincered You need to keep moving, because again, only guys that are touching, and this is one thing that frustrates me, is I wish the AI would default on these type of things, where you could select, like, surround enemy or something. To get full benefit of that. Alright, these guys are now breaking, and this would be a perfect thing for you guys to go after. Would be these guys that are breaking. You can come after those guys, so my guys that are melee can go after other units. Since the archers are now focused on other things, you guys can start running around to try to get the full flank off. Alright, you've now broken those guys. You need to focus on taking those guys out. Hero, you need to get down here to start fighting him because these guys are not going to be able to win that. Slingers keep coming. Alright, good job. You guys can attack those guys. You guys can do a slinger versus slinger. You can attack here, you can attack there. You can attack here. Ah, those guys rallied because my units are all getting bogged down. Get over here. Slingers. You guys take out those guys. You need to come and start fighting here. Diomedes, you need to get over here. Uh, 
victory is close enough to taste. All right, we got this. Boom. Ooh, kicking the nuts. So I improve. Diomedes. Wow, you still can't uh I'll see to it. Get the slingers, huh? Get that happiness going. On the path to victory. All right. Well, you pretty much have a full army right now. Boy, 20% melee attack is pretty good. Although I would like to start get a whole new army with him, in which case these drill experts would be nice, but most of my army... It's going to take several turns before I start recruiting another army, because I need to have the slingers. I think i got to go with the melee. I also think I need to go with those guys because I want to destroy this so I can get those resources back as fast as possible. And I gotta... Why, have my... Why is my gross so low? Alright, we'll get a bunch of new objectives next turn, and I can start using Aphrodite. I'm always slow to use her at the beginning, for whatever reason. Because uh, you can start it right at the beginning and do Hecatombs and uh, Prayers. Oh, that's new. Okay. Yeah, see, this is a problem, is look at all this unhappiness there. And we're going to start getting rebellion shortly if I don't uh, get these happiness up a little bit. I think we need to start coming up this way and going after those guys. Wise Diomedes, although you are not a cruel man, you are quick to spot an advantage. Use your dominance. To impose your will during diplomatic negotiations. Yeah, just I don't want to leave my flank open because we know they like to attack us. Once we start coming up this way, but maybe I'll even get a second army going. Problem is, is we're expanding pretty quickly. We're going to become a major threat, and that's going to have diplomatic repercussions for us. For a I don't think I have any peace treaties with them, right? No. It is going to trigger a massive war. I was kind of hoping these guys are going to take care of it for me. You guys need to hurry up and frickin' get over here and take that place out. I don't like that you're leaving my flank open. Yeah, I don't want those buildings. Yeah, we 
we go. Aphrodite. Yep. Those guys are good. Perfect. Strong work. It's like you heard me talking about you. Let's get that so you can start working on your happiness. Get this so we can start getting our food. I'll do my duty. Guard the perimeter. Get you to heal. I'd like to get up here, but if I'm gonna be taken out fortified cities, I feel like I gotta get you to be full health. kind of would like to do that. Oops. Kind of hoping to uh, their demands. Screw that. It's kind of hoping to wait for the trade. Uh, trade objective before I did that, but. Let's get that going. I serve with honor. Guess we'll keep you there for a turn yet to try to get some happiness going. Aphrodite. Let's do it. Dedicate this feast to the gods. That'll help our bonuses here. If I have to wait a couple of turns, that's fine. On the path to victory. Let's give him one more turn to heal. There we go, training camp. Well, their Sander stood at Agamemnon's side, the Laodama son of Etiocles, uh, marched on the seven gated Thebes. With Thebes ruler Their Sander away to support the support Agamemnon's war against Troy, the treacherous son of Etiocles, Laodamas has overpowered the Theban defenses and retaken the holy city which you helped conquer when you were merely 14 in the name of both your fathers and the seven 
against Thebes, their Sander asks you to prepare to march by his side once more as one of the mighty Epigoni. Dang it, it's going to make me go east. I see what you're doing to me, game. I'll do my duty. Ooh. I could take his army out. Wisdom and might. That's a big gamble. Alright, good. So we've now made this into positive. Which is excellent. Still need the growth, and then these things are still not even done yet. So I hate to do that. So we'll save up, I guess. Son of Tydeus. Oh, I hope he doesn't run. He might run. It will be epic. Don't make me regret listening to you. You are. Diomede. Sword skirmishers. <laughs> yeah, this would be a very difficult army if he decides to garrison it, so we really gotta try to take out as much as we can. Got a fairly open battle, which is good, so. Again, set up our front line. Again, I like to have about a force like that for our width. We have three and reserve for flanking and going after archers. He's coming after us right away, it looks like. So what we want to do is try to prevent them from flanking us. So we're going to try to just set up shop over here like this. Set you guys over this way. Because so we're going to try to run you guys around. You guys come up this way. Because so we don't want you blocking our... And the young spears are the best ones to be focusing on other than the bowmen right now. Alright, and you guys come over this way. His hero's over there, so you want to be that way. Turn off our skirmish. Oh, I still see. He still ran, even though I turned the skirmish off. I wasn't quick enough. Yep, and you guys got too far, so that's a pretty classic mistake. You need to get over there. Your hero is under attack. Alright, and you guys get up here. So I'm losing this battle right now. That's not good. So using his ability to boost. Don't do that. Alright, you come over here. You guys start charging into the rears. Alright, you should be attacking here. Your warriors are losing heart. Yeah, I know. Keep 
You guys fire into there. You guys fire into here. You can keep firing there. You guys start enveloping over this way. You guys start coming over this way. Alright, so we've got our range units firing in. We're starting to break a lot of enemy units, which is good. Causing pretty much a mass route over here. These guys are turned, so we want you to do that. Victory is close enough to taste. All right, and again, we want to try to kill as many guys as we can to prevent them from boosting. There's not really a great spot for these guys to be firing into without taking out my units. Your warriors have been routed. Yeah, that's fine. You're supposed to be taken out as hero, though. I might have actually lost some units on this battle. It definitely could have gone better. I was a little slow on getting my guys committed. Which was the problem. What are you doing, man? You're supposed to be attacking these guys. Run them down. Ah, this hero got away. You should have got him, Diomedes. That was a mistake on your part. Alright, he's gonna get in the tree, so all you're gonna do is shoot your own guys, so get out of there. Diomedes stopped again. No, oh, didn't lose anybody. Sweet. Almost took out their whole army. And let's take the treasury. This is where I need my agent. Get up 
there, so you can start helping my healing. Chances are I'm probably going to have to kill you. So I did not want to boost you up with bronze. So you're positive, you're almost positive. Gotta get that wood keep coming. Yeah, I don't really want to do this, but let's get it just because I need some resources. I'm not ready to give up the growth. I'll do my duty. How big's the difference in the healing? Yeah, oh, it's keeper. noticeable. I Let's keep you going now. My shady skill is yours. So I need to keep moving forward before he starts getting another army going. So I guess the question is, is, should I get a second army going? Kinda hate to do that. I don't quite understand why they started giving you Homeric heroes. Peaceful. Oh, that's the kind I like, too. No? Oh, but I don't... All right, hopefully he'll be there for a turn or two. Not quite ready to hire him, given my resource constraints. Son of Tydeus. And if I do that... But I don't want to lose them is the problem. Not ready to hire him, though. Well, let's wait a turn. Get those things going. I will make any problem go away. For Akia, on our way. My work requires weakening from within. Ever faithful. Wisdom. See, what I don't want is to be so close that they get the reinforcement. That's what could be bad. Let's keep you here, I guess. Alright, 
with that, I think we should call it quits for the day. Hopefully this is uh, helping you guys with your campaigns if you're wanting to play this. If you're enjoying these videos, please give my channel a like and subscribe to encourage me to post more content for you, and have a great day.